hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome to what i expect is probably going to be another mammoth vlog i'm going to try and not make it too long because i know my vlogs recently have been borderline movies in themselves and i just want to thank every single one of you that sits and watches it for the full 30 40 minutes because that is a lot of time in your life and the fact that you want to sit and watch my face for that long is very flattering and very humbling so thank you very much for that but today is a task that i've been wanting to kind of tick off my list for a long time and i'm finally going to tackle it and that is the kitchen <laughs> So seeing as we're like home now, we are using the kitchen an awful lot more than we normally would for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Um, and obviously we're not getting any takeaways or going out or anything like that. So it means that we are using the kitchen to its full capacity. And I just think there are a few cupboards that I want to go through and really try and maximize the storage in our kitchen. Cause we do actually have quite a lot of storage. Um, but I think there are some cupboards that just do not utilize that storage in the slightest um and there's a lot of improvements that could be made in the kitchen area um there are a few cupboards that literally don't need to be touched like i'll show you for example the glass cupboard um it doesn't need to be touched because that's just that's all our glasses and that's absolutely fine um but there are other cupboards <laughs> like i'll show you this one this is our snack cupboard and um it's just it's just a mess really to be perfectly honest so that's kind of going to be the task today so i thought we could do it together you can um hear me moan about going through the kitchen and maybe it'll inspire you guys if you need to do a kitchen clear out or sort out at all um and we can just try and organize and make our kitchen as functional as possible another thing i want to do actually i've been tossing it up in my head is trying to clear the worktops a little bit because i really like how worktops look when they're just really like open and bare and obviously we use a lot of appliances like we have our Nespresso machine which also has a little milk frother we've got the kettle and then the toaster over there and it's just quite difficult to have a clear worktop and then also we have this filter jug um so because we live just outside London the water is pretty gross um and it's just really really metallic and really hard water um and that's actually really bad for mainly your appliances like the kettle the the um coffee maker and everything like that when you put lime scale in it it builds up so quickly and it can literally just ruin all your appliances so using a filter jug just means that the water that's going in is almost pure um, and it's like as clean as possible and then it means that your appliances last a lot longer so we usually fill that up and then fill up a jug in the fridge um, and that's our like drinking water so it does come from the, the tap but it goes into a filter um so yeah and <laughs> i have just have some potatoes here because quite frankly there's no room for them right now um but by the end of the sort out there will definitely be room for the schmacking potatoes so i'm bringing out my little stool i think you guys would have seen my stool before but um basically because so many of the cupboards are really high in this flat i can't reach them so I need me a stool so I can actually reach them. <laughs> okay, so I think the first thing I'm going to do is literally just take everything off of the surfaces and give the surfaces like a really good clean. We're very good at like cleaning them anyway, but you know how sometimes you're just a bit lazy and can't really be bothered to like move the coffee machine and stuff. So I'm gonna take everything off and give it like a really, really good clean. Sit on my bed, I got nothing to do. Take on my phone once again right to you. I'm really bored. Please don't ignore Started as fun, no I randomly know You love rainy days and you still live at home I feel like as soon as you take all of the appliances off of our kitchen It looks huge But when you've got like coffee machines and everything on here It makes it look so much smaller than it actually is So I'm really gonna make a bit of an effort to try And reorganise the way that I've put the appliances on Just to try and maximise the space um, but I think the first thing I'm going to do is sort the cupboards because literally uh, there's no room I could put the appliances at the moment. So I think I'm going to do the cupboards first and then we'll move up back onto like the surfaces. Things like this never last but every time you text back I can't help but reply with hearts in my eyes. I think I really like you but I never say it straight to your face. Now that is a lot better. 
Um, so I've just kind of organized it. I've not really done much. Um, but I've just kind of moved where things are. Um, so these are some like crispy pots. There's like a couple of different ones. Um, and these are mine and Alex's favorites, even though they're um, gluten-free, Alex also loves them. So we just have a couple of pots there. And then these two boxes are our snack boxes. So that one's Alex's and that one's mine. We've had so many arguments about people eating each other's snacks. So we've had to resort to having our own boxes um, and then we've just got a crisp shelf and then those are like some other snacks um, that we don't reach for as much but they're just ones that kind of um, we'll keep for a long time so we keep them at the top there. Now the next cupboard that I want to sort is this one and it's one of the most difficult cupboards because this is our cleaning cupboard but it wasn't actually designed to be a cleaning cupboard. I think this was designed to be a bin but quite frankly there is no way that we could use that as a bin because it is tiny. We've got our bin over there in the corner, um, so we don't need to use this as a bin. Um, so we use it for cleaning supplies and keeping everything like that in there. But quite frankly, it just gets like this <laughs> quite quickly. So I'm gonna try and just organize it so that it's got a bit more of a structure um, and then we can try and keep it a little bit tidier. Do you ever find when you take stuff out of cupboards that there is just the most random stuff in there? Like we've got bin bags, we've got soaps and um, washing up liquids and whatnot and then we've just got a massive pile of bags so I think this is where Alex has been shoving plastic bags if ever he has to use them even though we have a bag of bags that's in the cupboard in the hallway he apparently has been using this as his bag storage so we're going to sort that out um, and I'm just going to give a clean inside here because you know when things have been in there a while and it's just a bit grubby okay so I think the main thing that I need to do here is organize each section into um, like having its own kind of thing. So oh, this is gonna be difficult. So I think this back one is gonna be for the sprays and cleaning surfaces basically. well enough <laughs> um, and then we have like some spaces around the outside of it which is kind of handy because it means we can put things like the uh, washing up liquid and whatnot um, I don't think this needs to be kept out here that can be with the washing dishwasher tablets and I was like quite surprised because I bought some recently kind of checked the cupboard properly and didn't realize we had an entire bag that was full <laughs> men well that is so much better now so I've literally just organized it in like these are spares, so the spare soap, the second bottle of um, washing up liquid, like spare sprays, um, bin liners and stuff. And then this one is all the surface wipes. This one is different kinds of sprays. So like we've got a window cleaner. These are, this is the Vanish um, Oxy Action that I showed you in the last vlog. Um, dishwasher tablets. Uh, these are like towels and whatnot to use um those are spare stuff that were here with it i think they're like the lids to the bins and stuff so we just ignore that and then washing up liquid so much better the only thing i'm struggling with is what to do with the spare kitchen roll um i might end up putting it in a cupboard in the hallway because quite frankly it just doesn't really fit here nicely so i really like how that looks all nice and neat Okay, so this is the cupboard that I have been dreading the most. This is our shit cupboard. <laughs> Everyone has one, everyone knows what it is, and I swear to God, the amount of times that I've sorted this cupboard, and it just doesn't ever seem to change. So I'm gonna go through it and be really, really strict with myself and really cull what's in here. Been a few weeks and we're keeping this up. Difficult to deny we're on the cusp of something more Can't be ignored I let you know every part of me 
I won't lie to you, I did not expect to be able to make that much space in here. I'm quite impressed with myself. So I decanted a lot of our medicines out of a, we used to have a smaller box for them, um, but it just wasn't big enough and they were all overflowing, it was so messy. So I've got a bigger box for them. So that's all of our like inhalers and paracetamol and lemsip and anything like that. Um, and that's like my prescription there. And then here we just have um, cling film, um, tin foil, plastic bags for like little sandwich bags and then the bottom shelf is pretty much Alex's shelf that's like all his man stuff so he's got a couple of little game things that you got for Christmas um that box is full of nails and paint and things like that and then his um two what are they called toolboxes so I think I've done a really good job in this one so one of the reasons why I wanted to make a lot more room in that cupboard is because this cupboard here is just overflowing oh look we have more kitchen roll <laughs> it's just overflowing um and i need to like get a handle on it so i was hoping to make some room in that one so that i can pull out some things that don't need to be in this cupboard and i can put them in the other one oh, something more. Can be it. we have a cereal addiction <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Well, that took hours, I won't lie to you guys. The cupboards were in a dire need of that. But I feel really, really good for doing it. And I have saved so, so much space. So I'll show you what the countertops look like yeah. um, because I've really opened up the space on there. So I have completely taken away the toaster. Now, this might be a bit controversial, but basically I've put it in this cupboard here because seeing as I made so much space in here, it now fits. Um, but I feel like it was just so big and took up so much room um, and it really just made the kitchen look a little bit smaller and like it took away so much countertop space. So what I've done instead is I've moved the coffee machine over into this corner next to the kettle where the toaster used to be. Um, and then the jug is one thing that is just, to be perfectly honest, it's really ugly. But there's not really much I can do about it. We need to have this here to filter the water. So I've just put that next to the sink here um, with the microwave and the bread oven. And then in this space, I haven't quite decided if I'm happy with this yet. Um, but I've put in my little anthropology, my, I think called the... Oh, I can't remember the name of these. I'll link them down below. You guys love them when I did a little haul on my Insta stories. Um, but I've got a little tray here that just says Joie de Vivre. And then my little salt and pepper shaker, which are so, so cute. I love them. And then underneath it says Bon Appetit. I think they're just adorable. And then I've got the... I don't even know what this is called, the little pot thing, um, which just says a bonjour, and currently it's still empty. Um, but I think what we're gonna do is gonna put spare coffee pods in there um, so that once we've like used them in our little tower, we can just pull them out of there. Um, but yeah, I'm not entirely sure if I'm 100% happy with this. I don't know if it looks too like appliance heavy in this corner and then appliance heavy in that corner and nothing in the middle. But the main thing is that I just wanted to have much more of an open space in the kitchen and I just needed more worktop area mainly. Um, but one thing that does drive me nuts, I don't know if you can see, there we go, there it is grease marks so from the um tenants before us sorry that's really struggling to focus now the tenants before us um clearly weren't very good cooks or didn't know how to have to use a splashback apparently um so the walls are covered in grease and obviously as we rent we can't do anything about that um and that was just something that our landlord just shrugged and went yep yeah, that's that's the way it is so that drives me nuts um and i wish that i could cover it up with something so if you guys have any advice or um, any tips how you kind of organize your kitchen and make it look a bit more open, I would love, 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 love your advice because I'm just struggling a little bit, um, especially because it's literally all our kitchen is just one strip. This is our kitchen. Um, so it's not like we have a lot of space to play with. Um, but yeah, I think I like how it looks. I think so. I'll show you this one actually because this one looks beautiful. 
So I've organised all of our cereal and stuff. So we've just got Alex's little oat sachets and then all our cereal boxes. This shelf is a bit of a mismatch. Um, we've got a couple of spare capsules for the coffee machine and some Nutella, but it's mainly board games and like cookbooks that I keep in there. And then we've got the um, fruit bowl. I don't like having fruit bowls out because especially the bananas in it smell really bad. And then these are a couple of little lap trays that used to be up in this shelf and I literally couldn't reach it. Like every time we wanted to have lunch, I'd have to say to Alex, can you please get the trays down? So I've now put them in this shelf and then I finally found a space for spare napkins and kitchen roll um, down in this cupboard. So I've just had a parcel arrive. I thought we could open it together. It's from Skinny Dip. They did actually email me asking if I'd like to receive just like a little care package in this kind of like difficult time, um, if they could send anything over. So I don't need to do that. Oh, this is so sweet. Okay, so we've got a couple of phone cases here. I really, really like these. Um, now I had a meeting with Skinny Dip actually a couple of weeks ago and Emily, the PR, she was literally crying with laughter at how disgusting my phone case is. Do I have it anywhere? Yeah, I have it here. It was the first time I'd ever bought a pop socket um, and I didn't really know if I liked them. So I wanted to get just literally a clear case um, that I could put the pop socket on so you can still see the phone um, because I really like how the background on my phone looks but I don't dare not have a case on it but it's gotten so disgusting can you see that like the marks from where my fingers are so if I show you like this is the colour my phone case should be or the, the back of the phone should be and then this is the colour of the case like this used to be completely clear so that's disgusting <laughs> So Emily did say to me, she was like, I'm going to be sending you over a couple of cases. Um, so yeah, I think the marble one is my favourite, of course. But I do really like this pink sparkly one. It's really sweet. Um, but these are really, really protective phone cases. I've heard such amazing things about Skinny Dip phone cases. Um, and then also we've got a really cute little eye mask. This is really silky. Um, it's in this like marble kind of effect, which is really sweet. I love that. We have a unicorn mud mask. That sounds amazing. We have Shake Your Coconuts hand cream. Oh my God, guys, I'm literally going to do hand cream like nobody's business right now. And this is very much needed because my hands are dry AF. And then the last thing is, oh, this hoodie. Midnight snack. Oh, this is the cutest thing in the world. I love this. The metallic writing is really cool, actually. That's adorable. So thank you very much, Skinny Dip. That's really, really kind of you to send these bits over. Just to say as well, um, there's also a couple of cards in there for a 10% discount for your next order. So I think you can only use these once. I'm not sure. The code is you go girl. So if anyone wants to use that and get 10% off at Skinny Dip, you go girl. I'll write it in the description box below. I've just put the phone case on now and it looks so good. It is a really industrial phone case. Like that is really thick. So I'm going to have to get used to the size of it because it's definitely thicker than my old one. Um, but I really like the pop socket as well. It feels, it just feels really, really high quality. Um, and obviously this stuff was gifted, but like I've not been asked to talk about it or anything. So yeah, really happy. Thank you so, so much, Skinny Dip. So a little realisation um, that we made recently is that our window can actually open all the way. Um, so we've set ourselves up a little workstation here. It used to have like lots of bits on here. You would have seen in my last vlog. Um, so we've moved all that and put like a little blanket and a pillow. Hi, gorgeous. So we've set ourselves up a little window seat so that we can just sit, enjoy some fresh air and some sunshine. In the afternoon, the sun hits directly. <laughs> you don't need to die. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. <laughs> Alex doesn't know what to do whilst I'm vlogging. <laughs> Yes, I'm walking in front of the lens. It's so funny. <laughs> but yeah, so it's just really nice because um, I think I mentioned in our last vlog we could, we don't have access to our balcony at the moment, which is such a faff um, because they're redoing it, which is really fun, um, and it means that we can't like they've literally changed the lock, so we can't even act like get out or anything. So it just means that we can get a bit of fresh air in the flat um, and soak up a bit of sunshine, which is really, really nice. This is what happens when there's two of you working from home and your kitchen table is your desk space. I feel like I need to do one of those, like, clicked tidies. Let's do it. Excuse me, okay. that is all your stuff. Not all of it. My stuff is here. Not all of it. Yeah, it is. Okay, 90% of it is my stuff. <laughs> 
Okay, get ready for speed clean. Other than all the um, wires on the floor and Alex's slippers, nice and tidy. Um, yeah, I just filmed that and Alex just went, wait, finishing touch. What are you doing? What is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is his llama. This is Tina the llama. She's not staying there, Alex. She likes no. Him. No. No. <laughs> I feel like today's actually been a very productive day. Um, which is really good. It's really helping that the sun is shining and we've got such gorgeous weather at the moment. I think if it was grey and miserable, I would literally be getting nothing done. So I'm very, very grateful for this weather at the moment. Um, and I'm also just grateful to have a nice flat to be in and to organise and sort out during this time. So I hope you guys are all safe and you're all enjoying a bit of quiet time because I don't think we'll ever get a time like this again where we'll have this much time on our hands. So I'm going to sign off this vlog here and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!